Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today's video is going to be a quick tutorial to show you how to drop a radiator. You might need to do this if you're decorating, maybe you're wallpapering a wall or removing wallpaper, or maybe just need to paint behind a radiator. So the first thing you need to do is to close the valves. They are generally turned clockwise to close. Sometimes you'll have a thermostatic valve. You will turn that till it says zero or to close. As you can see, these valves here do require a spanner or a pliers and just close it until it stops. Now you need to loosen this nut. You can use a wrench for that or a spanner. It's a good idea to just put a piece of rag or something to collect some water because some water might come out at this point. So just give it a slight turn just till it loosens just about and you'll probably see water will just start to drip. Now you do the same thing on the other side. Again, put a cloth or something just to catch any water. Now you're ready to lift the radiator off the wall. Make sure that you've got a bit of slack in there just wiggle it up and down to see if you've got enough movement that you can lift it off so all you need to do is just lift it off the bracket slightly and then slowly twist it and it should pivot down if you've loosened the nuts enough make sure you support the weight of the radiator because it will be filled with water Once you've got it down on the floor, just retighten the valves so that the water won't leak out. So these are typically the brackets that you'll see on the radiator. The brackets will hook onto these bits there and these are the little hooks. So once you've done what you need to do behind the radiator, it's time to put it back is simply the reverse by just gently loosening those two nuts again. Then you'll be able to pivot the radiator and just put it back onto the brackets again. Just make sure that all of the brackets are connected properly and hooked on properly and then just tighten the nut again once you've tightened it just double check for leaks make sure that you don't have any leaks and then you're good to go now you just need to check your boiler pressure and top up if necessary so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it's been helpful, please give us a like and share and also subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you.